Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can customize the phone number field on your Elementor forms. Now here, the form takes only numbers, but I want to show you how you can limit the number of digits that are in this form and to enable the validation of only 10 digits or other digits that you want to. Now, as we can see here, I've already pre-filled this form and let's say that I want to insert more than 10 numbers in this form inside the phone field. Let's say I have another number at the end and then I would try to submit this form. As you can see here, phone number must be exactly 10 digits long. That means that even if I'll insert, for example, nine numbers, it will also give me the exact error. Let's do that right now. And as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try to submit it. And as we can see here, it also give me the exact error. And when I'll try to insert 10 digits, let's say I have 10 right now when I added the seven at the end, and I'll try to submit it. As we can see here, it will comply with what we have here. And when I'll try to submit the form, it will send the form as you can see right now. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, a few things to mention. In this video, I won't be going over on how to set up, how to insert a form field with Elementor into your pages. I assume that already know that. And if you don't, I have some videos on my channel that I will be popping up right now on your screen. When you're here in your WP admin dashboard, one of the first thing that you want to install is a plugin called WP code. So you want to head over to plugins and then add new. And over in the search box, you want to search for WP code. And the plugin that you want to install is that WP code insert headers and footers plus custom and so forth by WP code header install and then activate it. Let's hit refresh. And the next thing that you want to do is head over to the code snippets right on the left, as we can see here, and then head over to add new snippet. And over here, you want to head over to add your custom code, new snippet, and then use snippet. And over here, you want to head over to the code preview and switch the code type to the PHP snippet. Now, the code for this would be either in the description of this video or in the link in the description of this video. Insert the code. Now, what this code does is basically checks if the field has more than 10 digits or less than 10 digits. As we can see here, we have the message here where we can customize it to our own needs. You can customize it to a different language of your choice and you can specify it differently than what it says here, but I'll keep it as it is. Now we can see here it specifically defines for Elementor Pro forms, validation and telephone and then validate a phone number 10 and three. The next thing you want to do is name your snippet. So head over to add title for the snippet. So we'll head something like phone number that validation. So far, so good. Now scroll to the bottom here. You would want to run it everywhere under location. That's fine. Now we don't need any smart conditional logic and then scroll to the bottom. And if you want to head over and add a tag, I usually add something like phone validation. Then you want to select it and then you're good to go. Then scroll to the top and then enable right here and then save snippet. Now in terms of the snippet, we're done here, but if we'll switch to the edit page by Elementor. As we can see here, I have two titles and I have my form. In terms of your form, you don't have to do anything. Now, if we'll switch to our form, as we can see here, now we don't see anything from our front end, but if we'll prefill it, let's say I'll put here an array and then test, and then let's do our number five. And then I have one, six, seven, right? Let's put our email. Let's put a dumb email, gmail.com. And then let's put some test mail. Let's try it right now. Let's try to add another number and then try to submit it. And we'll be able to see that we have our error here. And then let's raise two numbers. So we have nine digits. Let's try to submit it once more. And then let's try and add 10 digit then try to submit it. Your submission was successful. Now, let's say I want to restrict it to a different number than 10. Let's say I want to do something like 15 digits. So what you want to do is head over back to your snippet page over here under edit snippet. And then you want to change the number over here. You want to change it to 15. And then don't forget to change also the phone number must be exactly 15 digits. Otherwise, we'll get the same error and our form submission would not be submitted at all as the user thinks he has to import 10 digits and it actually 15. Head over and click update and then let's head over back to our form. And then here, just don't forget to refresh the page. And then I'll just prefill my information here and then let's try to submit it now. As we can see here, it will only take 15 digits. As we can see here, we have 10 and then let's add five more. Let's do one, two, three, four, five just to try it out. And then let's try to submit it now. As we can see here, your submission was successful. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this video helped you. And if it did, I would be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on Elementor, WordPress and WooCommerce. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.